Hello everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and we are continuing on our Christmas um, card marathon, I feel like, since I've been doing so many Christmas cards. Uh, today we are using the Flurries of Wishes stamp set. This is found in our annual catalog and here is the card that we are creating. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. For our card base, we are using a piece of old olive. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of basic black that is cut four, I'm sorry, yeah, four by five and a quarter. I have a piece of the Merry Little Christmas Designer Series paper. This is three and three quarters by five. Yes, that's correct. And then I have a piece of our striped ribbon. This is in the holiday catalog and this piece is the same size as our designer series paper and I've just flagged the end. We are also going to be using our foil snowflakes. You can find these in the holiday catalog as well. And then of course our layering circle framelits. Okay, so let's go ahead. We could adhere our layers together. So let me start with our designer series paper. I have to admit to you guys, I am kind of a designer series paper hoarder. Um, I love all of our designer series paper, but I don't tend to use all of it. So I'm really trying to make it a point to finish um, this pack. So you have been seeing me use this pack a lot, and that is why, um, for anybody who might be wondering. I do love the color scheme too. I mentioned in one of my other videos that I was more of a traditional Christmas color person, um, but once I started playing with it, these colors, I do really like it. All right, so I'm gonna add Fast Fuse to the back of this ribbon. And it should be plenty to hold. You will notice that this ribbon has wire ends so it's great for packaging it will bend and move for things but you can also use it on cards which is nice okay so let me just make sure I line this up I do do want it in the center okay just like that um, let's go ahead and bring our big shot in I think we'll stamp our sentiment real quick and then I will bring the big shot. So I'm going to use Old Olive and I am using, um, like I said, the Flurries of Wishes stamp set and we are using the sentiment, sending you a flurry of warm Christmas wishes. We're gonna ink that up in the Old Olive and we're gonna stamp that here. Let that ink absorb, it's kind of a juicy ink pad for me. Okay, and now we can grab our Big Shot. Okay, so I have my magnetic platform in there. I have one cutting plate. I am going to grab my circle, and this fits perfectly whoops, around our sentiment. Let me just move this over a bit. I want to be sure I don't cut off my C. I think that looks good. So let's run that through. Got a little close to the C, but that's okay. All right, so now I have a scrap of old olive, and we are going to cut a scalloped circle out of this that will just finish up our layer around our sentiment. So let's run this through. There we go. All right, now we can set our big shot aside. Okay, so we can go ahead and layer our sentiment in our old olive circle together. 
This is just giving it a nice little border. Just continuing on with that color. Okay. Now I'm going to place this onto our silver foil snowflake. So again, just going to use my fast fuse. That should be plenty to hold our sentiment. Okay. Now I'm going to add some fast fuse in the center of our snowflake. And then I'm going to bring in my dimensionals. And I'm just going to put one on the top and on the bottom. So I'm just going to cut the edges of these. These edge pieces are fine. I want to put one here. Because our ribbon has that little wire border, it's kind of raised. So this is just going to help even out our sentiment. Okay, and then we're going to add that right there. Give our card a nice crease. And we are done. There we go, and that completes today's project. Aren't those pretty? I love them. I love them. All right, so as always, guys, I thank you so much for joining me today. I do appreciate um, all the comments and my customers. So if you'd like to purchase today's supplies, you can find those over in the description of the video. And I look forward to being back with you real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.